So you in many Discord groups? Uh, yeah, I'm in quite a few. Well, there's a Lord of the Rings one. There are a couple of Lord of the Rings ones. Um, then there's the anime one. There's the modern board games, the retro board games. There's... Hi, I'm Nina. I'm a producer here at Canva. And in this video, we will create captivating Discord avatars and design a unique server icon tailored to your community. But first, what's the difference? An avatar is your personal profile picture on Discord, visible whenever you interact, representing your individual personality. Discord recommends 128 by 128 pixels for the best results. The server icon, visible on Discord's left side list, represents and identifies a server theme, expressing the collective identity of members. For this, you can expand to 512 by 512 pixels to ensure it remains high quality. So, in short, the avatar is all about you, and the icon is all about the community. The next obvious question is, what makes a good one? The first thing I'll suggest is keeping it simple. Discord icons are small, so complex designs won't be recognizable or understood. This means text will be unreadable. Use initials, that's fine, just no words. Also, keep in mind that Discord dark mode is very popular, so avatars and icons need to stand out against a dark background. Obviously, don't infringe any copyrights and make it unique. That will make it more memorable. In other words, make them relevant to you or the purpose of your Discord server. For example, if it's a gaming server, you might use a controller or something that represents your favorite game. A study hub server, maybe a book or a symbol of what you're studying. Okay, okay, that's the theory out of the way. Let me show you how to easily make one. Start on Canva's homepage and just do a search. You can choose to create a blank one or choose one of the existing templates that are ready to go. Everything is customizable. Delete what you don't need change colors, move and resize things, even adding new elements from the library. Here, remember, your avatar is going to be cropped as a circle when you upload it to Discord. So don't create anything with a lot going on in the corners. Okay, that's sending the vibe I want. Go to the share menu and download this as a PNG. If you're a proud subscriber or Canva for Teams or on an education account, you could also choose to have a transparent background. This means your avatar will blend well with whatever mode is being used. On Discord, go to your avatar and choose Change Avatar. It's that easy. If you're on Nitro, you can also upload a GIF, meaning you can add animation to your avatar. If I go here, I can choose a page animation that will affect all the elements on the page. Just hover over each one to see the effect. Makes it really fast to get something attention grabbing. Again, up to share, but this time choose GIF. Keep it at 200 by 200 and hit download. Now, in Discord, choose your file and look at that, it's moving. How cool is that? Creating a server icon is very similar process and I'll show you that in a sec. But if you're enjoying this and want to learn more about Canva, you should check out our YouTube channel. This is your go-to for helpful how-to videos to level up your designs. 
Our Tips from the Team playlist is loaded with short expert guides. The perfect way to learn a new tool or get inspired to try something new. Actually, this one with Jackson will be a good one to watch to discover more about creating avatars and profile pics. Smash that subscribe button and you'll be a Canva Pro before you know it. Okay, this time I'm going to start with a blank template. Just enter the dimensions and off we go. Use the search function in the Elements tab to find what you need. Select graphics only or photo or video if you're going to make a GIF. With this one, I'm going to create something using Background Remover. This is a pro tool, but it's well worth it. Okay, turn that music up. I'm designing here. Oh, nice. That works. Yeah, that's looking good. Hmm, I feel like I could keep going, but I think you get the idea. When you are designing, this is often the hardest part, knowing when to stop away. Just upload the same way we did before. And there it is. Isn't that simple? Now, if you're like me, you're probably on a bunch of different servers. Lord of the Rings fan club, PlayStation party group, zombie film lover society, you know, the typical stuff. Well, now you can create a logo for all these Discord servers straight from Canva. Any questions or feedback, we'll love to hear it. Put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Hey there, glad to see you're still here. Wanting more awesome content? Jump into our playlist, it's filled with stuff you love. Actually, this video might be worth a watch. It will go really nicely with what you've just seen. And thanks for sticking around. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on anything. Ciao!